Hi, this is Clay Stevens of RI Training. You know, I want to talk today about three things real briefly. Possibility, probability, and predictability. You know, when you think about your business, you think about what it makes possible. What is it that people want? What did you want when you saw your business? Well, the same thing is true when you show other people your business, your products, your services. They, because people really don't buy those things. They buy what those things will do. In fact, when you look at your business offering itself, the money-making opportunity that you allow people to, to engage with in partnership with you, it's not that they want to do that work, it's that they want the result that it will create. Essentially, you're selling a result. The possibility of what you have. So remember, when you're thinking about your business, it's not what you make that matters, it's what you make possible that matters. It's what you make possible. People bought that by that result, and they're buying into you. So when you're overcoming objections, when you're contacting, when you're presenting, when you're asking for the business, etc., when you're asking people to take action, what you're really uh, what you're really asking them to do is to make a decision to take action to produce the result based on what you've just shown them to be able to create the result that they want in their life. Second is probability. What is your make what makes your business probable? Essentially, there's really a best case scenario, a worst case scenario, and a probable case scenario. Now we're really good at talking about the best case scenario. Fast cars, big houses, islands in the Pacific Ocean, buying planets, and maybe even solar systems, who knows? But you know, when you talk about what's possible, well, those things are possible, yes, and people do need to know that. But in regards to probability, what makes your business probable? Well, the products are have a great probability of working. In fact, I will almost guarantee you that 100% of the time if somebody takes your products, if they use your services as directed as the company says, as the, the company uh, is not selling hype and hopium, they're saying, hey, use these products or these services in this way and here is the probability of what will happen in your life. And so you have to be able to understand probability. Best case scenario maybe is possible. The worst case scenario probably not so much. The probable case scenario is in between. So let me just share one thing with you. At the end of your presentation, you might just say, hey, now that you know what the best case scenario is, here's the worst case scenario. You, you, may, uh, you may offend a couple of the people who were saying that you were, you were your friends. Uh, the startup cost of the business, a few hundred dollars maybe. That would be the worst case scenario, a little bit of your time. But the probable case scenario is in between. And for whatever you feel comfortable in regards to sharing with people, that's the probable case scenario. In fact, I'll tell you that the probable case scenario is exactly what people want. If they want to go on a different vacation, that's probable. If they want a different car, that's probable. If they want all of the things on the car that they have right now to work, that's probable. If they'd like to create job dropping income, that's probable. If they'd like their products for free, that's probable. If they'd like a fast car or a big house, that in fact is probable. So we have to understand how to relate to people to help them understand that the business side of, uh, of your offering is just as probable. It will create exactly the same sorts of results as, as, as probably as your, uh, as your products will. Now let me talk thirdly about the, the concept of predictability. Well, what makes our business predictable? Here's what I know. In 55 years, the last 55 years, the Direct Selling Association has been collecting data and stats on the whole industry. And those 55 years of data show us some interesting things. That running around as fast as you can, making a names list, and enthusiastically as you can, to run, going to tell your friends, neighbors, colleagues, etc., I get the coolest thing ever, you want to get in, is repulsive. It pushes people away. In fact, here's what we know that over the course of the last 55 years, 97% of the people who have done the business that way never get to break even, and only one-tenth of 1% 1 ever create job-dropping residual income. Now that's predictable. That's predictability. So if you want that result, remember back to possibility, predictably we can create that result. We know exactly how to do that. 97%, that's pretty predictable. Now, how do we switch that to be able to create what you want predictably? Well, there's a three-step success pattern that we teach. Improve yourself, then build a team, then qualify to become a leader and help other people do that same thing. So you're pulling people through the process with you. Improve yourself, then build a team, then you qualify to become a leader. And we measure the value of your service. 
through all three of those phases in what we call PEPs, or Personal Effectiveness Points. And those PEPs help you to be able to understand where you are and what you're supposed to be doing. So improve yourself, build a team so that you can do that effectively. Not just throwing mud at the wall, not just dealing cards, not just hoping, uh, enrolling, hoping, and, and replacing people. No, 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 no. We're talking about something that actually creates massive success, and that is this. If your conversion rates, just think about this one thing. This is a predictable part that I want to share with you today. If you have a 60% conversion rate of contacts to presentations, that is to say 60% of the people that you talk to will allow you to be able to do a presentation, 60%, so if you contact 10, 6 presentations, and if those 6 people in your presentations will allow you to do a follow-up, 60% of that, that's, uh, that would be 3.6, you round up to 4, down to 3, so 3 or 4 people will let you do a follow-up with them, that's a 60% conversion rate, then we're on track. And if 90% of the people who let you do a follow-up enroll with you, either as a customer, they want to take advantage of the features and benefits of your products, 90% customers or associates, what I call associates, those are team builders, people who want to come on the business and follow your example as a business builder, 90% of the people either as enroll either as customers or associates, you're in business. That will give you an 1,100 times advantage and an incredible recruiting advantage over the people who are doing it the, tradition, the traditional way. The traditional way that says this, I talk to a hundred people and three people will enroll in the business. Three. That's a three percent conversion rate of contacts to enrollments. And what I'm talking about will produce a 32 or 33 percent conversion rate of contacts to enrollments. That's 1,100 times more, 11 times more. Now, I'm not the smartest guy on the block. I'm just habitually lazy. I would rather get the same result or better by having to do less. Or if I did the same amount of work as someone else, I'd like it to pay off 1,100 times more effectively than if I just went and, and did things the old traditional way. So uh, again, I appreciate everything that you do to make the world a better place, the work that you do, the company you belong to, the compensation plan you have, it's, it's possibility that it gives not only you but the people that you talk to, the predictability though of the way that it works, the probability of the way that you offer things and the, and the, the consistency of the business, the products, the compensation plan that you are taking advantage of, and I'll tell you that if you want to find out more about what we do, go to ritraining.com, R-I, Real Improvement Training.com, ritraining.com, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Have a great day.